All right, welcome back to the channel. So, Javante Davis, Leo Santa Cruz, and Devin Haney are all fake champions. And the real champion is Rene Alvarado and Tiafimo Lopez. So says Team Terrence Crawford. Absolutely going to love talking about this one. Let's do that in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. All right, so yesterday was on Instagram. Saw a video put up by a team member of Terrence Crawford, Bernie the Boxer. If you are not, if you do not follow Bernie the Boxer on Instagram, follow Bernie the Boxer on Instagram. Very, very funny dude. Love watching all his videos. I don't think he likes me very much, but it is what it is. I like, <laughs> I like his style of presentation, so I always watch. And he's a very, very knowledgeable guy about the sport of boxing. He just sees things wrong. <laughs> he just sees things. Nah, I'm just I'm kidding. But I'm not. He sees things wrong. Um, but he's a top-ranked guy. He's in. He's team bud. It's what he's supposed to do, right? Um, and it's reasonable that he would do that. But, um, nah. <laughs> Let me get into this, man. All right, so Bernie the Boxer's in camp in Denver with Terrence Crawford, right? Um, he's been allowed to speak on Terrence Crawford's Instagram on multiple occasions. You'll see Terrence Crawford walk right by in the back while, while Bernie the Boxer is talking mad stuff. And but but Terrence Crawford don't say a word. He just gives you that look like, yeah, you know he's talking to me. Yeah, you know that's what it is. And that's cool. I like it a lot, man. There's other guys like uh, like Gary Russell Jr. has my man, um, Batman, and other, you know, uh, 78. Uh, Deontay Wilder has 78 Sports TV. And Trey, but more probably, more correctly, is like Tay, Tay Jones with, um, with Deontay Wilder. Guys that are really, really close with the champs, uh, and the champs don't really feel comfortable, you know, saying something like straight out because they get so much heat. You know, they'll let it slide through their boy, and we all understand that that, hey, that that's the sentiment that the champ holds, right? And so what is the sentiment that Bernie is sharing today? Now, he was not on Terrence Crawford's Instagram, so you can say, ah, this might just be Bernie the Boxer. But if you listen closely enough, you're going to hear a whole lot of top rank talk, dog, a whole lot of top rank talk, a whole lot of that stuff to keep coming up out of there, and some stuff that is just factually inaccurate. Okay, just factually inaccurate. However, let's get into it, man. Um, you remember when Gary Russell, excuse me, just not too long ago, Floyd Mayweather Jr. Uh, got took uh, took to the stage, not a stage. It was on a Javante Davis like uh, last public workout, and during the workout, dude, he just grabbed the mic and went in on the sanctioning bodies. Talking about, look, man, we got way too many championship belts. We got the WBO this. We got the da-da-da-da-da-da-da. You know, stuff that boxing fans talk about every day. However, you know, when somebody as big as Floyd Mayweather Jr. says something, you got to have somebody else come out and say something stupid, like Roy Jones Jr., right? And I like Roy Jones Jr. I ne very rarely say anything critical of Roy Jones Jr. But Roy Jones, shut up. Man, I'm a fan. I'm not a boxer. I don't care that you like all 9,000 belts that they want to put around your waist. That don't make it make me no difference. Floyd Mayweather Jr. was talking about boxing fans and what boxing fans are complaining about, not what fighters are complaining, complaining about. Of course, if you get paid for every belt that you win and it's a championship fight and you get paid more because of your belt and you have the ability like Roy Jones Jr. to beat everybody and collect them and you're the man like that, dog, that's cool. But you're an anomaly, homie. You're an anomaly, okay? And you're a fighter. I'm a boxer, dude. Your career is your career is over. You're now a fan, okay? Roy, in this case, one megalomaniac uh, talking about another megalomaniac. Who was a megalomaniac? Egomaniac and another egomaniac between the two of them dudes. Dude, the Floyd Mayweather Jr. E e uh, egomaniac uh, wins, okay? <laughs> but ever that was the whole conversation. But then you start hearing out of these press guys, right, that things like um, Javante Davis was not a real champion at 130 pounds. And 
Uh, Leo Santa Cruz is not a real champion at 130 pounds. The real champion at 130 pounds is Rene Alvarado. And then, you know, Devin Haney's not a real champ at 135. And, and, um, Javante Davis is not a real champ at 135. The real lightweight champ at 135 is Tifimo Lopez, right? And then says, hey, man, we, the belts don't matter, right? <laughs> like, I'm like, hold on, Team Crawford. Do the belts matter or do the belts not matter? Which one is it? You got to pick one or the other, okay? Now, if you say the belts matter, right? If the belts matter, then why are you saying that uh, then why are you saying uh, the belts matter? Then why are you saying these guys ain't champions? If the belts mean something, right? And they're really champions, then dude, all of these belts mean something, right? But that's not the big thing. The big thing is that the WBA super is just a it, <laughs> in the in the conversation. Um, and I really do like dude, really, really do like dude, because this is something that is it's small. But it is, it's hard to find, but it's, it's just the truth, okay? The truth about the WBA super belt is this, that it has no lineage, okay? There's no lineage to the WBA super belt at 130 pounds. That's an Asselino Freitas belt, okay? <laughs> that's, that's the truth. That belt was invented for Asselino Freitas. Asselino Freitas was a Brazilian hike job early in the 2000s <laughs> that they wanted to get a championship, Okay, and they were selling them. Right? I think it was actually like a show. I think he fought on Showtime. Asselino Freitas, kind of like a handsome looking guy with his, you know, had these little curls and stuff. And they were trying to sell him as like, you know, the Oscar De La Hoya just type, um, you know, whatever, like sex symbol type of guy. Right. So they invented the WBA super at that weight class <laughs> and they gave it to him. And he held that belt for a couple years till 2005. And then guess what? Guess what happened with that belt after that? After that belt, I mean, after that, it went, it didn't, there was not another super champion for, I think, another seven or eight years in a Japanese dude. The Japanese dude had two fights in Japan, and then he lost to Jarrell Corrales. Then Giselle Corrales had a couple fights, and then he got stripped, and then it went vacant again. And then they gave it, then when then Gervonta Davis, another star, came to the weight class, they had him fight for it again. Dude, that's who the champion is with the WBA. It's with the WBA Super. And that's Gervonta Davis. And you don't get to just name who the person is, who's the real champ. Because when you say, oh, the real champ is Rene Alvarado because Rene Alvarado beat Machado and Machado beat Giselle, dog. But Giselle Corrales beat one guy. And then after that, that guy didn't beat anybody for the belt. It had been vacant for seven years. So if you, any time that you go through a lineage you're, and you, you're going to run into in boxing a big gap in that lineage, which makes this, is, I'm telling you, the, the boxing, the belts have been perverted in boxing for a very, very long time, right? And the, the, the WBO belt ain't no better than the WBC belt. And it's no better than the WBA belt. It's no better than the IBF belt. And you can't say that these guys, the best champion is the guy, the champion is the guy that beats everybody. Because none of these guys, not, these guys aren't all fighting each other. You know, they're not all fighting each other. So how would you ever know who's the best? The only thing you do is have these stupid trinkets. So if you're going to say, and that's why I think you need to get rid of them because they don't mean anything, right? The WBA soup, look, man, the WBA super, world super featherweight title means nothing to anybody, okay? Most people didn't even know that it went vacant after the Machado fight. And I was talking to people, up in arms about it. How can Javante Davis be fighting for this belt? How can Javante Davis be fighting for this belt? But nobody said anything, right? Nobody was like, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Nobody did until after it happened. And after it happened, when they wanted to have Machado, they wanted to say, oh, Javante Davis is ducking Machado. And then Machado's bum behind got beat by Rene Alvarado. Dude, Rene Alvarado's going to get mopped by Javante Davis too. But the fact of the matter is, dude, Rene Alvarado's not the champion, man. He's just not, okay? And over here at 135 pounds, dude, Tiafimo Lopez is not the WBC champion for the same reasons that people would say or trying to say that we're trying to say Javante Davis was because there's no lineage to that belt. 
There's no lineage to the to the franchise champion. You can't win the cha- franchise champion. You have to have championship. You have to have it designated to you. If the WBC didn't like Tiafimo Lopez, he could have very well had uh, still got a sanctioning fee from Vasily Lomachenko and not pass the belt to Tiafimo. But in what word, what world are they going to pass up on sanctioning fees from Tiafimo Lopez? None. Dude, the belts are just garbage, man, and it and it taints everybody. Guess who in guess who included? Uh Terrence Crawford. Because Terrence Crawford didn't beat nobody to get he ain't the 147 pound champion. If the same, if you have the same thing, you say, oh, Tifimo Lopez, Tifimo Lopez ain't the real lightweight champion. Right? I mean, not, excuse me, Devin Haney ain't the real lightweight champion because everybody knows, man, that belt ain't the belt. The belt is really Lomachenko. Right? And then Tifimo Lopez beat Lomachenko. That's the deal. Well, then can't we do that at 147 for, for Bud? And say, look, nah, man, he's not a real champ. He just beat Jeff Horn. Who's Jeff Horn? Right? Ter- Errol Spence Jr. Errol Spence Jr. beat Kell Brook. Errol Spence Jr. Uh, and to get the belt. Errol Spence Jr. beat Sean Porter. Errol Spence Jr. is fighting Danny Garcia. Errol Spence Jr. fought Chris, uh, Chris Algieri. Quiet, quiet, quiet as you kept, Chris Algieri is a better fight than anybody is as good a fight as, as Terrence Crawford's had in 147. So, shoot, if... If Javante Davis ain't a tank, it's not a champion at 130. First of all, he was. That's just what it is. And and Devin Haney uh, is not a champion at 135 pounds. Then then uh, Terrence Crawford's not a champ at 147 pounds by the same logic, which is why it brings me back to my point that all of this confusion, and I don't have any issue with Terrence Crawford uh, can't for thinking the way they do about it, right? I don't have any problem with that because the belts are so messed up that you could that it's completely subjective who the champion is, and that's the one thing that should not be subjective. That should be objective, but it's not when you have 15, 20 belts in the same division. You have 15, five, six belts or whatever within the same sanctioning body. It's just ridiculous. Anyway, it is what it is. You let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out.